Hey, it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Today, I kind of mentioned this in one of my videos and I got a few people that said, yeah, definitely do this. So we're going to start doing a series on Fridays called Frugal Fridays. And what it's going to be are meals that you can feed your family that don't cost a lot to make. But they're still from scratch. That was my thing too. Seems like a lot of times when I would look up like frugal things to feed my family, it was like the same five recipes over and over. And they're not things that we would actually eat with our lifestyle. So today, our frugal Friday first, first frugal, this is gonna be fun, you guys. First meal we're gonna make is bre breakfast for dinner. So tonight we are making waffles from scratch. Waffles. They're reasonable. They feed our family. And if you guys have kids like we do, our kids love them. So for us, it's actually Valentine's Day and our tradition started many, many years ago for, for, for Valentine's Day, we do waffles. We have since the kids were little, usually we make like strawberry topping or something kind of cool. And um, since it's Valentine's Day, I figured, here you go. My husband's going to be cooking bacon behind us. We had some leftover bacon after some other recipes. So he's going to be cooking that up. We do offer eggs to anybody who want them like as a side. Um, but basically, our kids just go out and go to town and eat a bunch of waffles. So here you go. So the first thing you need is waffle iron. Um, we have one. This thing is ages old. I don't love Belgian waffle makers. If you have one, it's cool. We prefer traditional waffle makers. So I have that plugged in over here and warming up. Um, I, a sifter, not essential, but it makes a fluffier waffle. And then our ingredients, of course. And then, um, that's pretty much it. There you go. So the first thing you're going to need is two cups. Are two cups? Is two cups? Of flour. I'm going to put those right into my sifter. I have my sifter sitting on a paper towel. You kind of can't see it. Let me see if I can tip you down a little bit. Oh my gosh. Maybe. That was difficult. So I got two cups of flour going in the sifter, and then four teaspoons of baking powder. So for years, well, my husband and I grew up um, with homemade waffles, but we haven't um, grown up yet. <laughs> we still haven't grown up. That's right. Uh, we grew up with homemade waffles. I'm going to adjust you back up again. This is going to be a fun video. Uh, with homemade waffles and we never really did the Eggo waffles. Our kids grew up, they had them as an option in the freezer every once in a while, but we never do that anymore. We just have waffles. So that's how we make them. They're really easy. You probably have most of the ingredients on hand and there's a couple like alternatives if you have a, you know, allergy or you can use whole wheat flour. If you prefer, you can use like an almond flour or one of those if you don't do, if you have celiac or gluten sensitivity as well. My waffle iron is warm. Okay, the next thing we're gonna add, half a teaspoon of just regular salt. To that, we're gonna add, where's my tablespoon? A tablespoon of just regular white sugar. If you want, you can add, you know, honey or maple syrup or something like that as an alternative to that. Next, two eggs. I don't have an alternative to eggs, people. That's just, I know you can do like flaxseed and different stuff like that. We, we eat eggs, so in they go. So we got our two eggs. I have one and two thirds cup of just regular milk. You can use almond milk, you can use soy milk you can use I don't know I'm trying to think of all the different things you could use basically use what you've got type of a thing 30 cup of melted butter you can also use vegetable oil and vanilla this is our homemade vanilla it doesn't have to be homemade one teaspoon of where's my teaspoon of vanilla and guess what I forgot Stirring mechanism. I always forget a spatula or a whisk or a... <laughs> for me, I have my husband over here who's just going to bring me an array of them. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> All right, we're just going to give that a stir. 
that's all of our ingredients, you guys. So skip the box stuff, which if you buy the box stuff, they have some that are just like add water only. But it seems like by the time you add the oil and eggs, you're halfway to making your own. So, all right, we're just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. Okay, waffle mix is gonna be lumpy. It's just part of it. That's it. Now you guys have homemade waffle mix. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for maybe like five minutes to kind of chill out and then um, re-situate myself and then I'll be right back. If I can find my clicker. It's, it's a mess over here. And we're back. Okay. I need to practice not saying okay again. But okay, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So I have our waffle iron. It is totally heated. Mine beeps when it's ready, so we're good to go. Um, I'm just putting a little whoo, cooking spray, which has lost its mojo. It's kind of just straight shooting, but uh, it's all good. I have a fourth cup measuring cup. I'm going to take, it's about a fourth cup. I usually do just over, so it's maybe like five tablespoons or a third of a cup, probably more like. And I'm just going to put that right into the middle of our waffle iron. Of course, every waffle iron is going to be a little bit different, but... A little, a little more. The goal is to not spill out the sides, although it happens every single time. <laughs> All right, we're gonna close our top. And mine just, I don't know if it auto senses or whatever. It probably takes like three or four minutes per waffle-ish. Usually I check it once it's crunchy, you know. If you try to open the lid and it won't. at an 18 wheeler 18 wheeler a big rig that was driving by and i was like bro what are you gonna do yeah. Yeah. Jason, i love my husband he's trying to make him stop anyway so with our waffles we over the years they've kind of changed topping wise so i grew up doing something kind of weird but delicious so when you pour your batter on the waffle iron my mom would always take a piece of bacon raw cut it into little tiny pieces and then sprinkle that on the dough or the raw uh, batter and then close the lid. So the bacon would cook into your waffle. And that's the way I grew up. <laughs> but it's kind of like a floppy bacon in the end. I don't know. It's like a comfort food for me because that's what I grew up with. My husband grew up because I honestly think it's because his dad insisted on having 3,000 jars of peanut butter in their house. But um, his mom thought you needed protein with your waffle. So she, he's standing right here. She put peanut butter on waffles. So that's how he grew up eating waffles. And it's it's pretty good. And you put syrup on it still too. And then on a special night, my dad would make chocolate waffles, chocolate waffles with chocolate syrup. And instead of syrup, like pancake syrup on top, we had chocolate ice cream. This is a chocolate waffle with chocolate ice cream. We should have done that. We're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> um, our kids do either strawberry syrup. I just basically put out strawberry jelly that we made and um, it acts as a strawberry syrup. Or they put miniature chocolate chips and miniature, or not miniature, uh, miniature chocolate chips and peanut butter chips. Like, let me grab one, I'll show you what I'm talking about. These guys, just regular old chocolate chips, peanut butter chips. <laughs> so that's what um, a couple of our kids do. So as soon as I take the waffle out, I put the um, chocolate and peanut butter chips on top and they melt into it. They still put syrup on top of it. I don't think it puts butter though. But so everybody in our family gets a different version of the same thing, which is what I love about this. If you're doing a frugal meal, you have options like you know, some kids, this is my theory. If you're doing a frugal meal, well, sometimes it's like, my kids aren't gonna eat like canned peas if I throw them into like some pasta with some Campbell's soup mixed in there and some shredded canned chicken or something like that. Like tuna noodle casserole, frugal. We don't love to eat it. So our whole thing was to come up with meals that we actually eat and share them with you guys. So I was trying to think of cost wise, what a batch of waffle costs. It's probably a couple dollars and um, it'll feed our family of five easily. Toppings and syrup is a different story. But um, again, I mean, 
just store brand syrup is not very expensive. So yeah, but as long as you have the ingredients, you're set. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just as I was like, I don't have anything else to say. I'm gonna turn you guys off. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's check our waffle out. Okay, it's stuck to the top. That's okay though. Do you see it? Do you see how it's nice and toasty and brown? That's a good waffle. Now I just use a fork to pry it off of here. I'm gonna use a different bottle of cooking spray on the next one because um, it's stuck pretty good. Yeah, there we go. So here's our waffle, beautiful, a little bit crispy. I learned a trick that if you put a paper towel on top of your plate, um, it'll absorb the moisture and it'll keep them crunchy. So give it a try. Let's pop another one in here. So I know this batch of batter for our family makes six full-size waffles. And usually, my husband and I won't usually, we eat one. Um, <clears throat> two of my kids sometimes will eat two. So sometimes I'll stretch it and try to even do like the little like half of a waffle to make it, you know, as much as I possibly can get out of it. But um, you also, if you want to double the recipe, since you already have everything out, double the recipe, these freeze great, and then you have your own Eggo waffles you can pop in your toaster. There you go, they heat up great. We always put them in the freezer and then <laughs> we never eat them. Like we'll eat fresh waffles, but we don't really eat frozen waffles. So I don't know what that's about, but that's basically it you guys. This is our frugal meal. Which for us is awesome because it's Valentine's Day. And like I said, we've done this for years. We've, um, well, okay. So when my husband and I first got married, we went to Claim Jumper, which is a restaurant in California. And I don't know if they're, they're probably in other places too. But we went there and it was a four and a half hour wait. So I actually went down early. My husband came home from work, took a shower, still met me down there. We waited like two more hours to have dinner. And I'm like, dude, no. Um, I do want to try the Waffle House Valentine dinner. I've heard that if you go to Waffle House on Valentine's Day, it's like kind of a thing. So maybe eventually we'll try that. But we do our own breakfast for dinner, so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, years ago we just decided when the kids were little, we would do like, you know, a Valentine's thing for them or we'd decorate the table all up and we'd all sit together and we'd write cards to them, kind of saying, you know, what attributes about them that we loved and whatever. Now we threw some dollar chocolate at them this morning, um, but we make Valentine's Day about our kids because for us, our anniversary and a bunch of birthdays and different stuff are all right around this time too. And so we're kind of tapped on money and ideas <laughs> by that point. So there you go. Anyway, this is the longest waffle video you've ever seen, which is mostly just me talking about everything but waffles. <laughs> But we got one waffle made. Usually I start this, it takes about 30-ish minutes to make a batch for our family. If you're not, you can pop them in the oven to keep them warm, just like on a cookie sheet with like a um, cooling rack. I just have a cooling rack on top of the cookie sheet and I pop them in the oven that keeps them all warm if we're gonna all eat together. But like tonight, we just let our kids eat wherever they want um, a lot of the nights because they're all adults at this point. So my husband and I sit and eat together every night, but we, they don't, so. There you go. Hey, look at that. It's staying crunchy. Paper towel. You learned a new trick. Even if you didn't learn how to make waffles, you learned how to keep them crunchy. Okay, that's it. And um, I hope you guys make our waffles. They're pretty tasty. I really probably need to show you guys our lemon ricotta pancakes because those are really good. Maybe. We also have a sourdough version of waffles. I'm not a big believer. <laughs> a whole other rant. I believe that a lot of people use sourdough discard and I understand why because you have it but they use it in the weirdest places sometimes and I just don't get it but um we don't really use sourdough discard so every once in a while I use it for waffles or something like that but really we don't <coughs> use it. Okay my second one is done. <laughs> oh did I spray it? I did spray it. It's still stuck a little bit but much easier to come off. All right we're gonna stack that one on the next one and just keep going until we have all of our waffles made. So there you go. That's our frugal, first frugal Friday meal. 
I'm trying to come up with a budget. Like, what do you guys consider a frugal meal? Like this, even with a couple eggs and um, all the toppings and stuff, we're under like 10 bucks for our whole family for dinner. To me, that's pretty frugal. Let me close the lid on that. <laughs> but if you guys, um, comment below if you kind of want to budget. Like, what do you guys typically spend on a dinner? I know for us, like, we go to the grocery store and we can do, we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home, though. And we can do under 200 bucks a week for sure. I would say 150 to 175. It's probably where we land. But like I said, I also have a YouTube channel. So I make stuff for you guys that we don't normally consume or make on a daily basis. But, um... We also eat three meals a day at home, plus we do, you know, everything from scratch. So it's a little bit different than somebody else's budget. But let me know if you guys have any frugal ideas, comment below. If you guys um, want to tell me what you think a pretty good budget for a dinner is. Um, yes, some will include meat. I think the next one is going to be a soup. I'm not positive yet. And I know a couple of you did ask me to take you with me to like Sam's Club or Aldi or to do a shopping trip. I'll maybe do a frugal week when I do that. I don't know. I've got some plans. I always have plans. I have a book in the uh, office called Dreams and Schemes. And I have all kinds of stuff in there for you guys. I probably have another 50 videos written down that I just need to make. So, Anyways, go make some waffles, you guys. My rant is done. Thank you for following along. And I hope you enjoyed our first frugal Friday. First frugal Friday food. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, 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 there's a remote.